First, I like to moisturize them, put some chapstick just to get them nice and moist. I know people hate that word, but <laughs> sorry, I make myself laugh. Hi, I'm Camila Mendez, and today I'm gonna take you to beauty school. So today I'm gonna show you how I like to do my lips most days. I'm very into lips recently and I always like to overline a little bit because I don't have the biggest, fullest lips, so I kind of like to cheat it a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do my best to talk and explain this while I do my lips. First, I like to moisturize them, put some chapstick just to get them nice and moist. I know people hate that word, um, <laughs> but <laughs> sorry, I make myself laugh. I like to line with moisturized lips just because I think then the line doesn't look so matte and dry and don't get me wrong i love a matte nude as well but usually for my day to day i like to do something that looks a little bit more natural so i always start by overlining a little bit right here in the center to fill in the bow and the little dip like that some people like to maintain like the you know the dip in your bow, but I kind of like to fill it in because I just think it makes my lips look fuller. And then I subtly bring it around, but I try not to go too thick on the outer edges because then I just think it elongates the lips and I just want to make them rounder and fuller and not really stretched out. I wouldn't say there's one person that taught me makeup. I think I've learned over many years of working in the industry with many different makeup artists and they've always taught me their tricks. So I've just picked up things along the way. I started doing my lips like this season five of Riverdale. Whenever we did the time jump, yeah, that was season five because we were coming up with a new look for Veronica in her 20s. And we were inspired by the sort of like 90s, you know, power woman, um, Wall Street woman. So I wanted to do a very 90s nude lip and that's when I started doing my lips like this. Okay, so I line it there and then underneath I do two things. I contour it a little bit and I do it just the tiniest amount on the bottom. And then I blend it in just to add a little bit more shading and just like accentuating the natural shadow of my lip. And then I go over it with the pencil. So I try to be really light with it because I really don't want it to look obvious. Like it's obvious, but it, I don't want it to be that obvious. <laughs> and then I fill it in. I like to fill in my lips with the liner. I know some people don't like doing that, but I do. Because I feel like then if the lipstick, you know, starts to rub off throughout the day, at least you have the liner underneath, kind of creating a foundation. And it also just deepens the color. And then my final step is using the Armani Lip Power. My favorite shade is shade 109. You know what's great about this lipstick is that it has like that teardrop shape. So you can actually follow your lip line perfectly. What do we think? That's it. That is my favorite lip look. Thanks for watching my beauty school lesson. I hope you learned something. Um, I am off to Venice Film Festival with my Armani Beauty family. So I'll see you next time.